What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my Pokemon Civil Walkthrough Part 8. In the last episode we saved the Slowpokes from Team Rocket and getting their uh, tails cut off which is a bit, um, it's a bit rough. Okay, so this episode we're going to verse uh, Bugsy. Um, so he is uh, right in the middle of all these other trainers but um, let's go around and battle a couple of these uh, little trainers first. So he's a, um, Amy, hi, are you going to challenge the leader? No way. Oh, I think there's a, there's a some twins. Um, but anyway, uh, Bugsy is in the middle. He's, he's in the middle. He is in the middle. So the whole, he does very, look very feminine. <laughs> so Amy may have Spinarag. So they didn't actually incorpor incorporate, uh, uh, double, kind of the whole double battle into the next gen over. But it was still pretty cool. Hey, we can reverse two people. It just means I've got more Pokemon. So anyway, uh, they've got a spin rack. I almost one shot of that. Hope I don't get poisoned. So I luckily don't get poisoned this time. And that spin rack is going to go down pretty easily to my uh, Flappy. Oh, very close to growing level 70. Twins Amy and May about to use Lady Bar. I like Lady Bar. That's a cool Pokemon. That, that is a cool Pokemon. <laughs> it looks funny. <laughs> it just looks really funny. Ah, uh, super effective, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, so it's type flying too. So, um... Flappy's level 17 now. So, I defeat, uh, Twins Amy and May. Double goodness. Oh, double goodness. Look like they've got lipstick on. They're, like, skanking themselves out, like, two years old or something. Um, <laughs> okay, what, uh... What levels have we got here? Very good levels at the moment. Um... Bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. Okay. They're pretty cool. And they're pretty tough. I don't doubt that. But still doesn't mean going to lose. Okay, so Bug Catcher Owl would like to battle. Bug Catcher Owl sent out Caterpie. Caterpies. Um, it's about two Thunder Shocks, I reckon, will do this. Ciao. Let's get a crit. Crit, crit, crit. Oh, okay. I thought he might just hang on. Um, so this bug catcher I was about to use Weedle to be his second uh, Pokemon. I was I was thought he'd have a uh, a Metapod or a Kakuna or something really annoying like that. Um, but oh, it just lives. See, I, see, I thought that I thought it might be like a good chance. Right? Um, so I'm just gonna hit it with another Thunder Shock, um, and that's gonna take that Weedle down uh, most certainly. So uh, bug catcher Al is defeated there. So you proved how tough you were. Cool. Um, definitely a tough customer. Okay, let's battle this person here. Bug Pokemon evolve young so they get stronger that much faster. Yes, they do. They do evolve very fast. It's like catcher. It's like catcher Caterpie. Like two seconds later, I've got a Butterfree. Bug catcher Benny wants to battle. Hey, copy my name. But my name's not Benny. That just sounds really weird. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, that's a very very low level for a. A gym trainer. That's very low. I was expecting level 10s at least. 10 plus. Considering those Caterpies are like level 12. Anyway, um, he, this guy actually, this guy might. Okay, yeah, this guy's got a, uh, a Weedle, a Kakuna, and a Vija. I get it now. I get why they did that. I actually remember. I just remember this doing this bit in the game now. Well, oh, that's going to take Kakuna out too. Cool. So. Beating Beedra will definitely get me to level 18. I think Beedra looks pretty cool. I forget what he looks like. <laughs> he does look pretty cool. So level 12 Beedra. Um, he's not going to be able to take that Thunder Shock, I don't think. Oh no, he took it very bulky. Oh, nice. He took that very, very well, actually. So he's going to hit me with a Fury Attack. That's not going to do very much to me at all. It's very low base power. It's going to hit me like 4,000 times, though. So, oh, only 4 times, but... <laughs> I just thought it add thousand on to it because it sounds cooler. Okay, uh, I get a nice little crit there taking Beedrill down, getting me to level 18. Wow, that was a lot of, a lot of, gave a lot of experience. And I learned Thunder Wave, so Thunder Wave is a very handy move. Uh, extremely handy, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Okay, um, let's roll on. So next train over here. You save the little Slowpoke? Phew, you're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough too. Okay, I believe you. 
Right, so Bugcatcher Josh wants to battle. Bugcatcher Josh sent out Paris. Oh, Paris, huh? I forgot about Paris in here. Um, I'm just going to swap out and go into my, uh, my Quilava here. It's my best plan of action. Okay, uh, so. Ah, damn it. I, I thought a status move would be coming, so I get paralyzed by Stun Spore, so. Uh, when you, obviously, when you're paralyzed, you're incredibly slow after getting paralyzed. So, uh, Ember should do very high damage or take it out in one shot, which it does. Cool. So, down goes Paris. A um, little bit of experience shared around for us there. That's his only Pokemon, so I guess that's alright. Urgh. I got 208 Poke Dolls for winning that. Another Pokemon trainer. No, there's more Pokemon trainers. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that annoying Paral. Paralysis, if I can. There we go. Paralyze heal. Okay. So. Actually, what's this guy gonna say? Yo, Challenger. Bugsy's young, but his knowledge of bug Pokemon is for real. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. <laughs> it's going to be tough without your advice, because your advice is so good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Bug Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective too. Thank you for that advice that I already knew. But, um, let's do this anyway. Okay. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Okay, this is one famine looking guy for sure. How is that? How is that a guy? Look at it. Just look at that screen for a second. How the hell is that a guy? Looks very. Looks like a cheerleader. Okay, so his first Pokemon is Metapod level level 14. So he's a. Uh, he's quite uh quite tall. Um, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave first to sh shut that down. Cause that's annoying. Metapod's going to use hard, and that's fine with me because I've, I've got um, I've got Thunder Shock anyway. It's all good. Thunder Shock should do decent damage to uh, Metapod anyway. Oh, that was a nice hit there. That did like most of his health. So tackles are not going to hit me very very hard because uh, Metapod's got such a, a very a very low base attack. It's not very very good. Okay, so anyway, so 216 experience. Okay, so Kakuna is next. I'm just going to go straight for the Thundershock this time. No point paralyzing them. Oh, I nearly got... Oh, I got a paralyzed with Thundershock. That's hell good. So, um... Kakuna's going to go for the Harden. So, Metapod and Kakuna really aren't very hard to beat if you have a, just a special attacking move, I guess. You can just hit them very hard with that. Um, plus, got level 19. Damn, I'm just going through the levels. So Leader Bugsy is about to use Scyther. Yes, let's do this. I want to only use Kulava against uh, Scyther. So uh, she sends out Scyther. Uh, he sends out Scyther. I keep calling him a she. Okay, so uh, Scyther looks really, really cool. Um, I'm going to go for the Ember because that's my best uh, option here. I know Scyther um, is carrying Fury Cutter, and that's his main. That's the main strategy this gym leader tries to use, but it's not going to do very much against me. Um, it's got very low base power, and it's, it's kind of like rollout. It, it times is... Um, it just keeps getting stronger the more times you use it. But that second ever is going to be way too much for Scyther, and that's going to definitely faint him. And I get 640 experience getting me to level 19, so that was a lot of experience there. So I've got two level 19s, and I get my second gym badge by defeating Bugsy. Wow, amazing, you're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. And I get 1600 for winning. I send a little bit to Mum. So I received the Hive badge. So that's my second badge now. Awesome. Do you know the benefits of Hive badge? If you have a Pokemon up to level 30 will bay you. Pokemon that no Cut will be able to use the outside of battles. Okay, so we can use Cut in the um, Prior Sound. Here, also I want you to have this. Let me see if I can remember what it is. Okay, I think it's just Fury Cutter, isn't it? Team 49. I think it's just Fury Cutter. I'm fairly certain it would be. It's yeah, Fury Cutter. Yeah. If you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. 
The longer your battle goes, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it. Cool. Okay, anyway, that's um, basically all I wanted to cover for this episode. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. And um, any comments and likes um, would be appreciated as well. Peace out, everyone.